these mitts from my life mitts thank you so much for stopping by i've had several requests to do a flip through of my traveler's notebook in passport size this is in the brown and you can see here this is before the traveler's company rebranded to traveler's company it's when they were referred to as midori so that's what it looks like it was a present this is a present from my husband and it's my first ever passport size so I don't have a lot going on here and I always feel like it's quite boring so maybe I will show you up close details of like my little charms and things this one here is a manual factory from log on a store based in Hong Kong and I believe the owner is Patrick and um, I was gifted this lovely charm from my friend and I just like it it's it's a perfect size for this well I feel like it's a perfect size for the passport size travelers notebook and it's very light and I don't know I just really like the way it looks these little two little I guess um, buttons this one is actually a Mina Pirhonen one I found at one of their shops Oh, gosh, it was a while back. It's it was I don't think it's a pop-up shop, but um, We were traveling somewhere and It was really out of the blue where I found this little button and this is I think from a store It was I purchased it from a traveler's factory, but I think it's originally from a store called Sharkra, I don't really remember as well as this one here. I made it into a little charm by adding the lobster clasp so there's this little cluster here that I like to kind of fiddle around with sometimes. And this on the side here, I have my pen just hooked onto the clip. It is a Hong Kong Tramways Traveler's Notebook Brass Pen. It's one of their old limited edition ones. And to it, I have clipped the 10th anniversary... Mm, Traveler's Notebook Beer. I think this, is, this one is from the Taiwan, um, I don't know, the collaboration with Taiwan. Several years, or last year? I don't remember. <laughs> it's so tough. Um, but I have this, that clipped to the top here. And then lastly is this little cute pineapple charm that was part of the... I don't remember what the name was, but it was uh, like a travel set that I purchased from Scrap in Love. And I just attached it there. It's really cute. <laughs> so this is my everyday carry. I'm going to be honest, I don't carry it with me every day. But when I do go out for like during the weekends, when I go out with my family, um, if I know that we are going out for a drive or something, I will take this with me. I usually keep just a notebook and my monthly calendar. This is what it looks like from last year. It's just nice to have a place to look at your month in a snapshot. I do keep my appointments and things as well on my phone, but it doesn't give you like a snapshot look at the calendar this way. You can look at the iPhone calendar, but it doesn't highlight which days have appointments at what time. And so this is a really good view of that. And it's nice and small. It's just a monthly calendar. Um, yeah, I don't want to share too much because it's kind of like personal information, um, but I do like to keep a monthly calendar with me, so that's why I have the passport size. So let's begin. Let's... So let me show you what's inside. It's really not that exciting. So once again, this pouch I purchased from one of the travel kits from Scrap and Love. I love the fact that there's a zipper and then the other side is like a long side zipper so you can keep little things in here I don't have anything at the moment but it's definitely you can keep your uh, coins and things uh, this is just some stickers I just have my bookmark I had a charm on the end but I felt I found that it was getting cotton to things so I just kind of keep it tucked in this pocket here this is a zipper pouch I haven't emptied it in a while so let's see what's inside <laughs> I'm thinking I should take some of these things out. This is a Today marker that I used to use. Um, I guess I would have it hanging out 
like that but i don't really do daily journaling in here anymore uh hobonichi techo stencil which can be useful when i was doing the daily like a bullet journal type of thing but i'm not really doing that anymore so i might well i think i'll still keep it i can still use it in my calendar if i need to highlight things uh, just some triangle stickers they're like pale pink i can use that still maybe i'll keep this here it's easier access this is just a journaling card from, I believe, I believe it's from Shakespeare when I made a purchase a while back. Faith is taking the first step, even when you don't see the whole staircase. Beautiful quote, so I'll leave that in there. Uh, just some brass clips. If I need to highlight something, I'll still keep that in there. Put it in the back part here. A memory card I don't know why that's in there but I'll keep it in there just in case I need it if I'm out and I have my camera and I need some more memory band-aid always useful especially when you have kids in this thing I participated in a bead event at the travelers factory in Tokyo a while back and it was um, hooked up to here Actually, Ijima-san, the man of uh, the traveler's company, um, he was, I didn't even know this because uh, when I first, sorry, this is going to be the kind of like off topic, but when I was there, he helped me put this on and then I realized later on that was Ijima-san, the man behind traveler's notebook. So I was um, a little, I, if I think, I think if I knew who he was, I would have been starstruck and I would have, I would have been like, oh, like, I don't know, <laughs> all nervous and thing. But he was so uh, kind enough to put this on my, on my clip here, but it came off. I'm going to try putting it back on, but he was so nice about it. And I said, oh, no, no, you don't have to worry. Don't worry. I can, um, I don't have to put the beads on here. I was trying to put it on and it wasn't working. Like I couldn't get it to work. And then he... Uh, was helping me out and he actually did get it to work but then now it fell off so I'm still keeping it for sure <laughs> it's a good memory so I'll leave that in there so I can I don't think I need this paper clip I have the other clips so I'll leave these aside as I'm not using them at this moment so you can just see the ramp <laughs> so you can just see the random stuff here. This I created a long time ago using uh, Marianne's six pocket tutorial. I think that's what it was called and I've kept it since and it's nice and uh, it's just nice I suppose like I if I want to keep like little papers and things if I keep business cards or something like that on a trip I can easily slip it in here. I don't know it's just nice to look at. Um, on this side I keep you see, for example, I kept this uh, ohashi ch chopsticks uh, cover. Actually, this is the first time my son, the first time the a restaurant had something like this, so I, I kept it. And some of the kita stickers that I like to use to highlight, as well as these little guys here. I like to use for my calendar, just some scrap paper that I like to keep in the pocket. And here is a blank insert. You can see it's from 2017, from last year. I didn't even finish it. I was keeping notes and uh, journaling once in a while in here, but yeah, I, I think I just kind of use it when I'm out and um, it's just nice to keep a blank notebook. Then I have an Ollie clip clipped uh, to the open space here and the current month here, which I don't want to share too, too much, um, but yeah, I like to keep the elastic to the current month so that when I open the traveler's notebook, the because the elastic is there, it kind of automatically kind of automatically opens up. <clears throat> so I like to do that. And then I have a clip here just clipped on and I use that as a pen clip. I should probably get a proper one, but it works fine and it also acts as a clip as well. So if I need to keep the notebook open, I can use the clip. So, And then on this side, I have i don't know if you can see, but I've wrapped the blank notebook around the calendar notebook. 
So there's the blank notebook and then the monthly calendar and then the blank. So it's wrapped around. So I have two spots where I can like open up and journal. So I have this side here and this side here. So the Ollie clip keeps this side open. This clip clip and this clip keeps this side open. I'm not sure why I do that. I suppose it gives me more option to write. Like if I'm, if I'm in a rush and then I'm just like fumbling around and then I open up my notebook, I have either this space or this space to write. And yeah, I just have a whole bunch of blank pages left. This is the other side of that six pocket folder. I just have a, a sheet of stickers. I probably use that up. And then this is the other side of the zip pouch. Um, I just have a traveler's notebook, a uh, traveler's factory business card, picture of my son. I should put a picture of my daughter in here too. I like this thing. This is like a, the biarchy of needs. You start with use what you have, then you borrow, swap, thrift, make, and buy. I'm on a no spend, if you know. I'm on a no spend this, I want to say this year. I'm going to really try my best to do a no spend. Um, of course I have a couple of exceptions but today is the 25th and I've made two purchases. One purchase was two pens for about two dollars and then another purchase it's in my in uh, my exceptions but it's a Shamil Garden stamps for about twenty dollars so twenty two dollars for this month or I guess for until the 25th of January is not too bad I guess but I'm going to keep this momentum going. Here are some washi tape samples that I received from my friend. And then this is also from the travel kit and I just kind of kept it in there from scrapandlove.com. Um, but yeah, you can put a lot of stuff in here. And this is also a full zipper. You can put your money in there if you like. <clears throat> so that is the Passport Traveler's Notebook. I know there's not really much going on. Sorry, my throat is... I'm get getting sick, so... My voice is a little frail but um, yeah I I don't like to put too much and I like it that way I like that it's nice and simple it's not too heavy for my mom purse <laughs> you know there's a whole bunch of stuff in my purse for the kids so it's just it really it just I just need it for what it is and it's perfect for that um, yeah if you have any other questions please let me know I plan on doing a video about all of my Midori Traveler's notebooks and how they look like after all, after several years of use. I've used several of them for several years now and I think it would be nice to see how the leather has changed. I know if somebody is just starting into Traveler's Notebook, I would be, if it were me anyways, I would be curious to know how the leather uh, looks like or what the leather looks like. So I thought I would do a video of that something like that coming soon and yeah I've also had a request to show you what's in my superior labor leather roll uh, leather pen roll pouch so I'll show that as well anyways I hope you enjoyed the video thank you so much for the request if you have any other uh, video requests please leave them down in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe I will see you soon thank you so much bye bye